All new tonight, the meeting female lawmakers have been demanding face to face with Honolulu's chief of police. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. Yanji Denise has the night off. The pressure has been mounting for Chief Louis Kealoha after one of his sergeants was caught on surveillance video punching his girlfriend. KITV Force Ann Sterling shows us today he cleared the air with the leaders who have been criticizing him. The women lawmakers arrived at the police department armed with a lot of questions. After seeing this video of Honolulu police officer Darren Cachola repeatedly punching his girlfriend, the members of the Hawaii Women's Legislative Caucus want answers about how the police department handles domestic violence cases. We talked about not the case itself. You know, we, we weren't there to lay blame or to say, you know, this was bad, this is not good. Or We're, we're just interested in the training and, and uh, what we can do to move forward to make things better. We saw the case as an opportunity to establish that dialogue and begin to look at all of the policies, procedures, attitudes, you know, services out in the community, everything. How can we make things better? Chief K. Aloha says part of making things better, the department needs to be more transparent. When we lose uh, the trust and confidence in an organization like your police department, it's because we're not sharing enough information. So we're going to go back upstairs uh, at the drawing table and look at how we can improve uh, providing more information to our community. Only some of the women's caucus met with the police chief and his deputies. They say this is only the first step and possibly making changes to how the department reports and handles domestic violence. If you cannot enforce the policy and there's no accountability, then there's, there's definitely an issue. We're looking at uh, more accountability, not just for the officers, but especially the supervisors. If there are any things that need to uh, be addressed in the legislative session, we will have that opportunity to uh, work with uh, the department on that. So it was a very positive, uh, positive meeting. Ann Sterling, KITV4 News. Sergeant Darren Cochola's case is now being handled by the prosecutor's office.